Hi, Jerry Chen from KnowledgeIP.com. Uh, I want to show you a uh, really simple way to turn your personal website or blog into a social network of its own. And this is quite interesting and uh, it's achieved by a brand new gadget developed by Google called Google Friend Connect. And uh, uh, in this video, uh, I'm just going to show you how to turn your WordPress blog into uh, your own social network. Uh, like a mini Facebook or MySpace, if you will. And uh, um, I, I recognize that there are different platforms or different blog platforms out there. And I, I want to just show you WordPress because it's really popular. If you use a different platform, um, the steps should probably be similar. Um, but check with um, you know the help um, or the forums section of your, of your platform support site or support page. So uh, basically there are two things that you need to do or two um, items you need to have to accomplish this. Number one is you need to have a working WordPress blog and number two you need to have a valid Google user account. Okay, um, So let me go right ahead and show you how to um, access this brand new gadget. Uh, you'll want to go to uh, Friend Connect or Google Friend Connect's homepage located at Google dot com forward slash friend connect that's all together so again it's www.google.com forward slash friend connect as one word no dash or um, underscore and once you're there you want to click on this big blue button here that says set up a new site fairly simple and then you'll want to log into your valid Google user account if you do not have one it's real simple here again um, there's a link where you can apply for a new account okay so create that account if you don't have one and then go back into the Google Friend Connect homepage so I'm gonna go ahead and log into mine and I have already created a couple of samples of um, the Friend Connect interface so I'm just gonna walk through the steps here immediately you'll realize that there are basically just three major steps uh, you know the three arrows you'll see so uh, you want to add add two required files to your um, web host and then you want to copy the code and then you want to paste it into your website or your blog and then you you now have a valid um, user or Google Friend Connect user account and then you can choose other gadgets or other features that uh, you may want to add to your account but for this demonstration again I want to keep it simple and basic I will show you how to create at least a very basic uh, members gadgets so you can start having people uh, join your blog or your site um, and start interacting with you. Basically what you will do is click on continue on the first page after you log in. You will type in your site name which is how your site is called on um, your friends um, friend connect account. If people connect to you that's how they're identified. So mine is called knowledge IP I'll say for knowledge is power. Home URL is www.knowledgeip.com. Click on continue. And then you'll see there are two files that you need to upload to your web server. Um, you just click on the button here and then you can save this file. I'm not going to save it because I had already uh, set up my blog correctly. But um, if you are setting this up for the first time, you'll want to save the file make sure you remember where you saved it so you can locate it I can tell you how many times people save their files and they can't find the location of the files and get all frustrated so make sure you know where you're saving it okay and then you want to click on this button again to save the second file same thing and once you're done with saving these two files you want to upload them to your web server and if you don't know how to do that, um, generally you'll use what we call FTP uh, utility and if you're totally foreign with that concept, uh, consult with a webmaster or a friend who knows a little bit about web programming or web hosting or um, I think the easiest way is probably ask your web hosting company's technical support and I would say eight or nine times out of ten they'll help you with that and if they really don't want to help you or they they just don't respond for some reason um, you can always uh, contact me and I'll, I'll be able to uh, give you a little bit of personal assistance okay um, so if you want to contact me you can just go to knowledgeip.com and uh, go to the contact or connect a page and submit a, qu uh, a question there and I'll respond to you so anyways um, 
So now once you're done uh, uploading these two files, you want to click on connect and then you want to click on test to finalize setup. All right. And again, I already set up mine. I'm not going to click these. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to an actual working an, uh, a working website um, or working account here. So this is the one I set up and I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you the site settings so you know the same steps that we just uh, walk through as if you're creating a brand new site. Again, you have the site name, site URL, and then the two files you need to upload, and then the save and test. Okay, so since I had already set up my site, that you want to click on member members gadgets. Um, I think if you're setting this up for the first time, um, this will be step number four, uh, which is essentially what I'm going to show you here. Add a members gadget. All right. So this is the very basic a gadget you can add to your account, and you can see that I already have people uh, on my on my site already. Uh, but just so that you know, you can change the size, and then you can change uh, you can customize the colors on your uh, your Friend Connect panel here. And once you're done there, what you want to do is just click on Generate Code by clicking here. Go into this box here. Click anywhere, right click, select all, and then right click again, copy. And this is the code that you want to paste into your blog. You don't need to know how to program. All you need to do is just follow the directions and then uh, just copy the code and paste it and you're done. Okay? So uh, now we're done copying the code. Um, step number four, obviously, is pay, copy the code into your account. So um, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do this in WordPress. And I already have my uh, WordPress account logged in. So uh, what you want to do is uh, go to your WordPress dashboard. That's the admin dashboard. And once you're logged in, you want to click on Design. And then click on Widgets. All right. And once you're uh, on the Widgets page, what you want to do is add a text widget. All right. On the left-hand side, um, of your page, you can see a list of the widgets that are available to your blog at this point in time, and you want to add a text uh, widget which allows you to uh, create your custom uh, HTML. And you can see the description here: uh, arbitrary text or HTML. So you just want to click on Add. All right, and you can see on the right hand side, I have a text widget here and right on the third widget from the top you can see I have a text widget called Frank Connect. I already have one but for this demonstration I will add another one just so that you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit of this brand new text gadget that I wanted to or I added to my sidebar. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna call this a friend connect demo delete after demo to remind myself and then you want to paste in the code so you can right click and paste or click on control V okay and that's pretty much it so you click on change click on save changes alright and I just saved my blog so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my blog here I open it in a new browser window or tab scroll down so you can see this is the first one that I created before the demo and then just so that you know what it looks like when you add it I have a second one here it's called friend connect demo delete after demo this is just to show you how it works okay and again uh, it's pretty straightforward once you have that set up you can click on join this site or sign in uh, let me just click on that so you can see the interface when you click on sign in, you can go into your Google account if you want to. Or you can click on join the site. And then, um, oops. Okay, normally you should have an option to join the site using your current login from Google or Yahoo or uh, OpenID or um, I believe AIM or AOL. 
Okay, those are the options that I see right now. I'm sure they're gonna keep revamping it. And all that means is that if you already have accounts with Yahoo or AIM or Google or OpenID, you do not need to create a separate account. All you need to do is just log in with those um, user ID and passwords and you can join the site right away. Okay, and I hope that was clear to you. Uh, if you have any questions, again, uh, email me or come to my blog and submit a question. So again, this is Jerry Chen from knowledgeip.com and I hope this video has been helpful to you. Take care.